Welcome to Family Adventures featuring four crazy kids. As some of you may know, we are in the midst of preparing to make a big move down to Florida. So, this is around the corner. yes, Isabel, Christmas is around the corner, and we are doing our very first day. We're doing 12 full days. So it'll be 48 presents given to the kids today. So each day they will get a present. Um, and today's the first day. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Happy adventuring. <laughs> Who's excited? Me! For what? For the Christmas tree. Why Christmas looking, tree? Why are you looking to the side, dude? The poker tree. <laughs> I'm looking for the other ping pong ball. There it is in all its glory. Three days of hard labor. Hey, that's three days? I thought it was five. I thought it was, I thought it was two. So, this is your ping pong Christmas tree. And I'm pretty sure it's the biggest Christmas tree we've ever had. Not the tallest, um, but the biggest. No, I think it's the tallest too. I don't think our other one is that tall. <laughs> okay, so we're doing this fly because we're moving, right? And instead of pulling out our Christmas tree and decorating and then putting it back, we decided to do this, right? Yeah. And we're going to do this for 12 days and every day each one of you will get a present. Mm -hmm. Depending on where the ping pong lands. So it's Question. December 12th. Right now, 2020. What if I don't get one for the past hour? Then you're gonna keep on trying. So I, so I can't just pick one. Thank <laughs> you. No. Um, we might have you move closer, but you no, know, you're still gonna keep doing this. So you'll end on Christmas Eve. So here's some of the rules. One, if it bounces into one cup and goes into the other cup, it goes into the cup that it lands last. Um, so, so that's the one that you get. So it goes from the one that it stays still on. Right. So this was a cup, this was a cup, and we this. We go in this one? Yes. Okay. Also, you guys have to behave every day. Keep your rooms clean, or you don't get to do it that day. It's not Christmas day, Christmas day. You'll still get your presents at the end of it. It just will be delayed. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah. Also, do you see on the Christmas tree how there are numbers one and two, and there's there's a bunch of them? Yes, yes. and I know yeah. there's a four. All right, what is your guys' theory about that? Ian, what's your theory? My theory is that you bought too much stuff in Florida. So you chose a wrapper that matches the wrapping paper on, 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 on an extra one so we like see like for the two and ones if there's a one we choose we choose one of the ones that match that wrapping paper if there's a two we choose two of them okay that's a, that's a good that's a good theory what about you doctor i think that the, all the numbers like ones since they're on different wrapping papers, that they if there's one on a box but it has the same wrapping paper, that's the one you choose. Or if it's a two, it has the same wrapping paper, you choose that one. Okay. Okay, uh, Connor, what is your theory? <laughs> same as the Luke Ian's is. Okay. I um, saw, Lucas? When I went to the bathroom earlier, I glanced over, I saw a box that was wrapping paper. The exact kind of wrapping paper with those with the exact numbers on them. I think if you land on it, you go to the bedroom, find the one that matched, and then you open it up. Okay, so basically the same thing that the other boy said. You snooped. You no. were a snooper. No, I understand. <laughs> it wasn't exactly that hard. They're already wrapped just literally right there. Almost I wouldn't call it snooping as much as looking. And it was right there. I wasn't hiding it. You guys are right. But what happens every Christmas when it comes to wrapping papers? We, choose, we each have our own wrapping paper. You each have your own wrapping paper. So there are two presents 
that are specifically designed or are specifically bought for you. Each one of you has a specific wrapping paper color. Because yes. every year that's what we do. We have, Each child has a different wrapping paper color and they have to decide which one was chosen and why. I got this idea from my mother-in-law who does it with um, bows. And I thought it was a good idea, but since I don't buy bows, I did it, I'm doing it with wrapping paper. And I think I've done it ever since you guys, maybe even before you guys were born. We have done it as long as I can remember. I don't have any questions. No. Does anybody have any questions? Yes. No. What? How close can you get to it? You have to stand on the rug. Yikes. <laughs> oh. That far. You guys, you're bouncing in it. And then when you can Wait. get it after three turns, then you guys can move closer, okay? Can I step closer? Oh, I should also mention that the ones that have your wrapping paper, as Isabel has mentioned to me many times since she's seen it, it's going to be really hard to get it in wrapping paper. Wait. When you pick, you, when you want to choose and get the one that has your number, you don't do ping pong that day. You just literally will go into the box with that number. You must start with number one and num then number two because some of them go, go together, number one and number two, okay? So if you want to choose those ones today, you will not do a ping pong. So they just have to guess which one is theirs, right? Yes. To, yeah, yes, sir, we're still going to guess. We're still going to figure out which wrapping paper is yours. If you guess wrong, you have to ping pong. Yeah, so who really wants care. to just ping pong no matter what today? I'll ping not pong. Guess. I'll ping pong. I will don't want to. Who wants to guess? to guess? Mm -hmm. Okay. I want to guess, so but if you want to ping pong, guess. go over here. Okay, you get one chance to guess. If you don't get it, you ping pong, and then you can guess again tomorrow. Okay. All right. I think I'm gonna let Connor ask oh. do it first. Um, I think mine is the stripes because I have a very um colorful spirit. Okay. <laughs> All right, Luki Tuki. Which one do you think is yours? I think I have the. There's stripes. There's a snowman slash. Um, penguin tree, I guess. There's a tree one. Oh, a... I think that's snow. All right, why do you think? Wait, which, what do you mean snow? Mm -hmm. Oh, to let it snow. Okay, why do you think it's to so let it snow? I don't know. <laughs> okay, actually, I think I'm gonna guess which oh. what one the wrapping paper is. Okay, what do you think it is, Ian? The let snow Whoa. because I love to cold and I love snow. <laughs> What is it about? I think mine's a stripes because I'm allergic to pepper. It's an artificial pepper. Okay. Two. Dogs, please. Two of you are right and two of you are wrong. If you shared a womb, you are wrong. You did have let it snow because you like the snow. You like it when it's snow. Yours is because you like my candy canes because there isn't pepper, isn't real, well there is real peppermint in this, which means it's not artificial, you know, there's no artificial peppermint. So you like my, my uh, candy canes and I think, and she sparkles and is colorful. Aww, thank you mommy. Okay, so who's your Who's up first? Me. Go ahead, Lucas. Almost. That was bad. Ball number two. All right, Connor, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Connor, you have to bounce it on the ground. It works better if you bounce it on the ground, bud. Oh. 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 Oh.
Wait, don't open it until the other two get theirs, and I'll open it all up. So who got 19? Did you just say suspect? <laughs> There's number 19. Oh, I was suspected. I'm suspected. What number did you get? 39. Let me see it. 39. Let me see it. I'm suspect 39. All right. Nothing more funny when I know that. You can come over here between the twins. Wait. You know, it's, um, I got it old. <sighs> All right, go ahead. It's a box. It's a box. Oh, it's a box. 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 The Lorian Battle Pass. This one looks nice. What do you, you get, Isabel? I got copper from the fox and the hound. You say it's a pig? I said it's big. Looks like a dog. It looks, I said it's big. What do you get in? The Mandalorian Battle Pack. Now these, these are. Ian and Isabel opened part of their big presents. Do you like it, Ian? Yes, I do. So Connor, what did you get? I have a rattles. In duck. Wrapping finger. It's like a pretend like pet that stays on your wrist. So I think we go with batteries in it. Yeah, Lucas says we're true. No. Okay. So it's like it's like in real life. Um, uh, that game you play, Boo. My boo? My boo. It's like a real life my boo. So, Lucas, what do you get, Lucas? I got a sketchboard and pens. I like pens. Ooh. So the agreement on, because they don't get to choose when they do the ping pong, they might, they might have something that they don't like. We are giving them the option to be able to trade. So I get, I, I'm guessing Ian and Isabel do not want to trade. No. Thank you. No, because those were actually bought specifically for you guys. Me and Lee and Lucas traded. But Lucas and Connor did trade, which is surprising because I thought for sure Connor would love that. And <laughs> Lucas would love that. It's a slap band. <laughs> yeah. Open these up. Wait, don't open it. Can they trade the next day what they got today? Technically they could. Oh. Our recommendation is not to do anything with it and wait. So if you have something that you might not think you want, then put it aside and see maybe someone else will have something even better the next day. All right, so we will do this again tomorrow. So Hi, Julia. Can we just do tomorrow's today? Yeah. No. <laughs> then tomorrow you're gonna want to do Monday. Duh. 